driving through a diverging diamond interchange is relatively easy. Here's how the one at I-35 and University Boulevard will work. You are headed west along University Boulevard and approach the new intersection. You proceed through the light and are directed to the left side of the road. You continue across the overpass. If you want to go straight through and continue along westbound RM 1431, proceed through the traffic light and you will be redirected to the right side of the road. If you want to exit onto southbound I-35, simply make a free left turn and merge. You will not have to stop at a traffic light from the left lane, nor will you have to cross oncoming traffic to make a left turn. This works the same for traffic traveling east on RM 1431. Drivers will diverge onto the left side of the road and will have the option of taking the free left turn and merging onto the northbound frontage road, continuing onto northbound I-35, or continue straight through the traffic light, returning to the right side of the road, and proceed onto University Boulevard. Approaching the new intersection from the northbound frontage road, proceed through the signal to the nearest lane on the bridge and continue to the free left, or merge right, continue through the light, and return to the right side of the road. For a diverging diamond, or DDI, the crossing conflicts are fewer, so it's two versus four at a typical diamond interchange. The left turning vehicle doesn't have a conflict with the oncoming traffic. That's one of the most severe forms of crashes, so if a driver can avoid those, it's a lot safer. The first Divergent Diamond Interchange opened in Springfield, Missouri in the summer of 2009. And that was actually the first Divergent Diamond Interchange in the nation. And since they've opened that interchange, they've seen a 50% reduction in crashes. And they've also had locations before that would have like a one to three mile backup. And now they're not experiencing that backup at all. One of the reasons that we're seeing improved safety with the Divergent Diamond Interchange is because we're minimizing the number of times that drivers have to start up and stop. And by minimizing that start up and stop maneuver, we're seeing a reduction in the potential for rear end crashes. If we would have constructed the conventional design interchange, it would have required us to have eight lanes of traffic across this bridge. And we would actually not even be moving as much traffic as what we're gonna be moving with the Divergent Diamond Interchange. One of the things that research has shown with the Divergent Diamond Interchange, you can move 650 cars per hour per lane. That's 650 cars that can turn left onto the interstate per lane per hour versus the traditional Diamond Interchange can only move half that much traffic. And so not only are you improving the safety, but you're moving more cars in the same amount of time.